Hey guys, Ryan here. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my entire my entire Harry Potter Funko Pop collection, which is complete except for one. So let me show you guys, and yeah, let's get right into it. I'm super excited. So Harry Potter is one of my is my biggest collection that I have. Um, I have it nearly complete. I'm only missing one, and I'm gonna be buying that very soon with hot cash. So. Anyways, yeah, let's get started. So, I can't really pull these out because of this. It's like a, it lips out, and I can't, there's not enough room for me to actually pull these all the way out. So, here's Harry. Here's Ron. These are like the um, original ones. Here's Hermione. We got Dumbledore, which his glasses broke off, which is really annoying. But, there's Snape. Voldemort. Hagrid. I'll try to remember to do it in numerical order. Harry. And Harry with the Sword of Gryffindor. Triwizard Harry. He got a little five-star Snape. Um, Hermione Granger in the Yule Ball outfit. And same with Ron in the Yule Ball from Goblet of Fire. Here's Draco Malfoy. This one is actually starting to go up in price. So if you want one and you know where you can get it for like 10 bucks, definitely do it. Here is Luna Lovegood. Here's another Elvis Dumbledore. This is like... This is Richard Harrison, or Harris, what, I can't remember exactly what his last name is. And then this is Michael, I can't remember his last name is either, but, like, the other Dumbledore, because he passed away before he could finish betraying the roles, which is sad. But here is Sirius Black, and back there is Dobby, my mom's ultimate favorite character. Down here we have the Dementor, we have Draco. We can take these out, because these doesn't have, like, a lip. But there's Draco in his Quidditch uniform. You got Cedric Diggory from Gallo to Fire. You got Harry Potter in the Sorting Hat. Neville Longbottom. Oh, this is one of my favorite Harrys. He's got the golden egg. And then we got Harry with the sweater and Ron with the sweater. Here we got my all-time favorite pop from Harry Potter. The Bellatrix Lestrange. We got the Mask Lucius, which is my second favorite. Like, I just love those two because they're, like, dark arts ones. And they're really, really, they have really, really good detail. You can't really see it too well, but they're so detailed. It's really awesome. Here we have Harry. Got a little Snape Mystery Me from the GameStop exclusive box. Um, here is, well, the Harry with the Hedwig. Here is Harry Potter on the broom. Fun fact, they're both 31, so I don't know exactly how that works um, in the line. But there's... Prof the Harry with the Prophecy from Order of the Phoenix. And there is Fred Weasley and George Weasley. And there's Bellatrix right there. There's a lot of these, like, like these ones too. These main characters, like, from Wave 5. Is, they're like, a lot of them are going up in value. Especially this Cedric right here is going up. And a, a few later on I'll show you. But yeah, so like Bellatrix, McGonagall, um, and this one and i believe it's either Sirius black or luna one of those is kind of going up in value but um yeah so then here's lucius and here's mcgonagall she's she's going up a little bit here is mad eye moody got dolores umbridge my favorite thing about wave five is they expanded it so much like we've had harry before but we have never had any of these characters before well except for the lucius and bellatrix in their variants but like, those, I don't believe the variants came out before this wave. So, this is seven new characters that we haven't got before. So, that's really awesome. Here is Lucius Malfoy with the Prophecy. This one's really hard to find right now. Um, there's not too much of a difference except for him holding the Prophecy. This is, like, the second rarest Harry Potter pop. It's Luna Lovegood with the Spectre Specs from San Diego Comic-Con. This is by far the most detailed Harry Potter pop. It has just be detail be beyond detail with her to from her glasses to her quibbler, if you can see the good detail with that. If you have it, you know what I mean, but here's Harry Potter with the pajamas. Here's Hermione Granger. This was, like, the hardest thing for me to get, so I ordered it once from FYE. My order got canceled. I ordered it again on eBay for, like, 10 bucks. It came smashed. I messaged the seller. They sent me a new one, and it came in good, but it's just like I was not meant to complete this set or something. I don't know. Here's Ron with Scabbers. Here is Remus Lupin. There's Ginny Weasley. Here's Luna Lovegood with the Lion Mane. Another extremely detailed pop. It's just, it's all around the head. And it is just beyond detailed everywhere. It is such a nice pop. 
Um, just have to throw that back up. I'll reorganize it in a minute. Here's Peter Pettigrew. Here's Raymond Snoopin as a werewolf. Another valuable, like it's going up in price pop. Ginny Weasley with the broom. Harry Potter with, well, Ginny Weasley with, I don't remember, I don't know what her broom's name is, but this is Harry with the firebolt. This thing went up to like 50 bucks and I was not, I didn't have it yet. And then they did a restock and now it's worth like, like, I don't even know, like 20. It's not even worth that much anymore. Then down here we have Bogart of Snape. I really want to show you, but this is another one where I can't pull them out because it like loop dips down here and here so that I can't pull them out. But, um, yeah, so there's Bogart Snape. This thing's actually shooting up in price as well. It's like 70 bucks right now. And then there's Ginny and Ron on their brooms when they're doing Quidditch. Here's Harry, Ron, and Hermione in their Herbology uniforms. Here's Ginny, and she has Tom Riddle's diary. This is mainly an entire Chamber of Secrets wave, um, except for just a few pops. So that's one of my favorite things about this wave is that it's, like, mostly um, Chamber of Secrets. The Gilderoy Lockhart, there's this one, and then there's another one. I can kind of, I don't know if I can pull this one out. Not really, but he's got a blue robe. So I don't think you can really see that, but and then here's Tom Riddle. And we got Moaning Myrtle, which is an awesome one. This is starting to go up in value as well. I knew this one would. Like, if you look back to this one, the Luna and the Harry that came out for last year's San Diego Comic-Con, I bet, I think this one's going to go up. I don't think the Nearly Headless Nick one will because they just, you know, they mass produce the common. Like, the common is just still everywhere. Um, like, they re-released it again. So, I don't think that's going to go up in value, the glow-in-the-dark version, but I still got it. Just in case, here's Seamus Finnegan, or, yeah, Seamus, um, I almost said Seamus, <laughs> um, but yeah, he's starting to go up, as well as this Minerva McGonagall as cat, I really do actually like that Minerva McGonagall as cat, I don't get, I don't see anything wrong with it, like some people do, um, yeah, here we, I think, oh, I can't really pull these out too well, but if I pull some of these out on the bottom, then we can, I believe, so yeah, here is Bloody Baron, this one got, like, canceled or something, but I'll just show you that, so I can pull these out. So here is the Sirius Black from GameStop Chase. Um, here's here is the flocked um, Sirius Black as dog, and here is the other Sirius Black from at an Azkaban uniform from the GameStop mystery box. Here is Professor Quirrell from New York Comic Con. This thing is I already guarantee you it's gonna go up in value. Especially looking back at this one, this thing is going to skyrocket because just how different and it's just really cool it is. Here we got Hermione with the sorting hat. You can still find that pretty much anywhere, so I don't think that's going to go up in value anytime soon. But here's Ron with the howler. I actually like this one. I don't even know why. It's like the most plain. It's not even different than the original one that they made, but I really do like it. I don't know, just something about it is really nice. And then here we got Ron with the sorting hat to finally complete all three of them in the sorting hat. And then here is the original series black. Here is, I already showed you the Bloody Baron, but there you go. And I already, I already showed you the flock series black right there. So, And then here is Dobby. He's like snapping his fingers. I've never actually taken a close look at that. It looks... Like a spider, honestly, but no problem with it. I mean, here's Hedwig. I ordered this one and it got canceled. It's like everything just going wrong at this point because I was trying to get like all the new Harry Potter ones and they kept getting canceled. And But here is the GameStop exclusive Hedwig. I know a lot of people just got, and I know a lot of GameStops only got like two of them and mine did and both of them were already pre-ordered before I got the chance to. So I was just like, dang it. And I had to go on eBay and buy it for like 30 bucks and I was so just irritated with that but here's Hermione as a cat oh it's cool it's creep I, it's kind of creepy though um and then here is Harry Potter from Chamber Secrets this is like from the scene after Gilroy Lockhart thinks he can fix his arm and then makes it so it's like all floppy and he has to go and regrow bone um his bones so and then here is Hermione Granger that will move to my Fantastic Beasts, then we'll do my um, bigger ones. First up, we have Tina Goldstein. This is the only one I have from the original Fantastic Beasts line from the first movie. I really want to get the Newt with Pickett and the Grindelwald, but that's all I have right now. Um, here is Newt Scamander, the regular. I don't have the chase. Here's Albus Dumbledore. Um, nothing too special about him. Here's Grindelwald. This is kind of like my replacement so I can get the 
uh, original one from New York Comic Con a few years ago. Here's the Thestral, which is really, really awesome. I really want that to come out in the original Harry Potter line. I feel like it would sell better, but here is the Chupacabra. Really weird. Um, this was... I don't even remember this being a huge part of the movie. I just remember it being in it for like a few seconds. But here's Pickett. Probably the lightest pop that I own. Um, yeah. <laughs> here's the Mad Got. These cats were so freaking creepy in the movie. Um, it, the eyes go in the dark, which makes it even creepier. Um, and then back here we have the open mouth Chupacabra, which is weird that they got two pops for literally being in the movie for like... 30 seconds so that's just mainly what i can remember but here's the barnes noble exclusive new in his suitcase <laughs> oh it's just such a cool pop and then the augury from new york comic con um the bird that's like in the window um and then lastly we have the michaels exclusive actually that's not last we have a few things um here's the might yeah the michaels exclusive he's got the postcard that dumbledore or something like that it was in the i remember being in the trailer um, and then we got these, and then we have all that stuff up there to go through. So, here we have the Harry Potter FYE Voldemort and Harry 2-pack. And then we got the Barnes & Noble exclusive Harry, Ron, and Hermione and their Herbology uniforms 2-pack. Then we got the, or 3-pack, sorry. And then we got the 2-pack of the Baby Nifflers for the Box Lunch exclusive. And then the regular Niffler, um, just 2-pack. And then we have the... I want to do this justice, but here's the Crimes of Grindelwald, Grindelwald and Thestral movie moment. This was not a specific scene in the movie. I don't even know what this is from, but God, it's just so cool. I mean, the Thestral and like the wings and then Grindelwald, like we don't have a pop like this of Grindelwald where he just breaks out and yeah, I mean, I'm not disappointed. I like this pop. Um, and then the last Gr Crimes of Grindelwald one I'm going to show you is the 10 inch Niffler from Target Con. So yeah, super cool. Also, I just want to make a disclaimer. A Game of Thrones collection video coming very soon. I just have a few coming in the mail right now that I kind of want to wait for. Um, but yeah, that might be about a week or a week and a half delayed because there's another one I want to get tonight. It's like an auction. So we'll get to that later. But here is the Harry Potter entering platform nine and three quarters box lunch exclusive movie moment. I love that one. And then we have the 10 inch Dobby. Um, that came out March, April, something like that. I really, really liked that one. Sorry if you can hear my mom. She's vacuuming in the background. But then we have the Harry and the Hogwarts engine movie, um, not movie ride, but just ride. And then we have Ron and the Hogwarts Express carriage. And then we have Hermione and the Hogwarts Express carriage. I already showed you guys that Hagrid up there, but here's another one with the birthday cake. And then we have the six inch basilisk. Um, so, yeah, that is, like, the, no, Luna Lovegood is definitely the most detailed, but I think the Basilisk is my favorite Harry Potter pop. If you guys don't know already, but the only one I'm missing is Ron riding the chess piece, which is newer. I have actually never seen it in person, so that's mainly why I've been holding off, because I want to see it in person, but I just haven't. So, I think I'm just going to buy it online, um, from Hot Topic and you know, do that with my hot cash because it's hot cash time. So I think that's just the best option to do. I'll do that. I'll complete my Harry Potter set. Yeah. And then I'll have all of them until they release a new wave in a few months. And it's like too hard for me to actually complete. Well, it's not, it won't be too hard, but I mean, I still haven't even completed the newest wave, but yeah. So I have a very, very good collection. I'm so proud of it. Um, leave down below. What was your favorite Harry Potter pop, um, that you like that you've seen, like that you know of and, do you have any Harry Potter pops, or do you collect them? If so, comment down below, like, what's your favorite one that you own? And, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I gotta clean all of this up now, but, yeah, so thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.